Hello everyone, this is Unreal Noob and welcome to Unreal Engine 4 Beginners Tutorial. We are making a dungeon crawler game and in our last episode, we made the combo system. So basically, if you pick up a weapon and attack one and if you keep on spamming your left mouse button, you will do animations one after the other. So the combo system is basically uh, just something to show that we are doing different kind of animations at this animations one after the other that will be changed later on so that the combo system only shows up when we are hitting an enemy in today's video we will be looking at the roll slash dodge system so that you can dodge uh, attacks from the enemy so before we go into that we would like to uh, do a quick fix on our sword tutorial on our combo tutorial uh, the issue was that if I had to like pick up a weapon that I did not set animations in like this one now if I'm clicking the left mouse button uh, it doesn't uh, do any attack animation but now if I click the hero sword the one that has animations now if I press the left mouse button even this one is bugged like it no longer plays the attack animations so let's see what we can do with this okay so I'll just escape from that uh, I'll find the player controller open that one up and the first fix would be to get this output pin from the get and do a is valid check and we need to do it before the variable is set if it is valid then we do that if it is not valid we can just set the combo count to zero and just make sure that the animation montage is set to invalid as well so now if I'm playing this one uh, I can do my anim attack, uh, attack animes with this sword which has it now I pick up the other sword this one has no attack animations and now if I pick it up pick the hero sword again and as you can see I can still do the attack animations from this sword so this no longer bugs out so which is good for us and <clears throat> now we would like to move on to the rolling for that uh, I'll be using a roll animation that I have you can use whatever you have mm, to be honest uh, I cannot share these because uh, these are uh, not uh, free assets I purchased them so I couldn't I cannot share them with you uh, but you can use any other animation you have in place of this one the logic still remains the same so let's open up the dungeon crawler folder and in our player controller we would like to make a custom event I'll call it roll before that let's go to project settings uh, let's go to the map from their edit project settings and in inputs we have to press on the add action mapping and we'll name this one roll slash dodge and this one would be in spacebar so now let's go over here and call in our event role slash dodge <coughs> from the role what we should do is we'll create a variable we'll call it b is role montage playing we'll keep these under boolean and I'll put this one under boolean as well I'll keep this under inventory mm. It 
it is always better to clean our stuff entry once they are over there and one class inventory this one would be inventory as well health count would be inventory stuff portion count would be inventory stuff as well and these i have no idea which should i probably under character character the player hurt can be kept under character and the combo count can be <coughs> put under combat so we have them <coughs> placed under each class so yeah we have them placed under each category so which is good it makes our <coughs> my blueprint tab look way too cleaner so from here in the booleans i will place in b is mm, what's wrong with this all oh, right yeah it has to be capital I so make sure uh, after B the I is capital uh, also before I set this to true I need to do a branch check if it is not true only then play this let's place that to true play montage now uh, drag the character ref from here we need to get the mesh and plug that into the skeletal mesh component and the montage to play would be we need to create a new montage so let's go back to our dungeon crawler folder in characters animations we will create a new montage in blueprints oh sorry in animations on animation montage we want the Mannequin uh, Magical night set mannequin this one The group should be melee attacks <coughs> And we want the roll The roll front actually let's do the roll back by default we want to yeah roll back but by default so if we are pressing the space bar so we will uh, rename this one animation montage roll back so roll back and on completed let's check up something yeah, on blend out we are to set it to false again <laughs> so and also let's call in from this you're calling the role from here and let's see how that is this is really good you cannot go back from there looks good enough I mean you could slow down the animations if you want to like let's make it 0.8 maybe It looks good actually on point eight, but let's see. Point five. No, 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 no. Point seven. Yeah, 
yeah it looks good and even if I'm spamming the space bar it will just yeah this is good so <coughs> also with this we want to do some other thing uh, get character movement velocity Sp speed is uh Let's just get the velocity. <coughs> Let's get the vector length. And let's see if this is greater than zero. Uh, if it is If it is equal to zero, only then do this. So, if I'm moving and I'm pressing the space bar, I'm not rolling back. If I'm <coughs> only mm, standing still, I am rolling back. But we don't want this <coughs> as well. We want to do something else. Mm. move forward move move input Uh, I think we can get get yeah move forward we can get the <coughs> axis value of this one and if it is equal to minus one if it is less than zero and uh, not an and you know I mean either of those right so if I'm moving forward I cannot if I'm pressing the back and I'm pressing the space bar I can do that so when I'm moving back I click press and I can roll back and if I'm standing still I press the back I'm still rolling back so which is really good I mean this is exactly what we have in mind so that is really good so this is roll back Actually, let's call this role. Role slash dodge. And this one, I can move this one and have it on a custom event. I'll call it roll back. <coughs> <coughs> Make sure you unplug that and just put it like that. So, comment this one out. Press C to comment it and have it roll back. 
so you go from there uh is full montage playing if it is not then Actually, for the rollback, this would be here. We need this one down below, over here. Like this. So, <coughs> from here, we we'll go to rollback. Comment this one out. Roll logic. Comment this one. Roll input. Then we can create another custom event. We'll call it roll forward and this one will be um, right um not over here let's remove that so from this false we have to do this and the logic would be here if this one is not equal to zero this time and this one will change to and okay because we have to make sure that both of these things are true and the move forward should be greater than zero if that is true we do a roll forward simple enough and do the same thing over here <coughs> do the same thing over here go for one and we need to make a new animation montage so I'll duplicate this one and I'll name it roll forward and whatever roll front you have you can place it over here and I'll just plug in the roll forward and I would be done so let's check out this one so if I'm standing still I'm doing the back one is not glitched out and if I'm placing the I'm placing the forward uh, key or the W and placing the space bar I jump in I roll in forward this one seems a bit slow though so whatever seems or feels good to you would be really good for me uh, I think I'll keep it at one this one feels more natural so there we have it uh, let's also check uh, yeah if I'm moving left and right and facing space I cannot do that which is good so far Okay, <coughs> so 
let's see now we have to do with the roll right and left right what we can do with this one is collapse this to a macro and this macro can be done as roll back condition and we can collapse this one to macro as well we'll call it roll forward condition now our code looks really professional a lot cleaner and really professional which is really good <coughs> now we are left with two more so I'll create the custom event roll right and this one will have the same thing over here so I'll just make these really quick custom event roll left and <clears throat> I'll make the montages I'll duplicate these uh, the first one will be roll right I'll duplicate this one again oops I'll duplicate this one again I'll call it roll left I'll save all right should be done with the roll right and the roll left should be changed changed with the roll left let's make sure it's spelled right Wait, what's wrong? Back, forward, left. Why is this spell like retard? Left. Okay. Okay, I cannot rename it for some reason. Uh, never mind, I'll do change later on so on the right I'll put in the right and on the left I'll put in the left nice it's not there actually so let's close and open it up and yeah so <coughs> let's make it again this is the right one mm, roll roll left goes in there make sure all of your montages are set to the slot melee attacks otherwise they will not work and for the left goes the left roll right and roll Now, for the right logic, uh, move right axis value should be greater than zero and again uh, not equal to zero, and we can branch from this and from false over there like that we can collapse this to a macro again roll right condition and let's do a roll right from there 
and if everything else is false we'll just simply do a row left because <coughs> that's the only logic we do not have to put in the condition you can be extra careful by putting in the condition actually if i'm standing still i press the space bar i'm rolling back if i'm moving backward press a uh, space bar i'm moving back uh, rolling back i'm moving forward and press space to roll forward i'm push I'm pushing right and press space to move uh, dodge right and moving left and press space to roll left so everything's working which is really good I will end the video over here uh, and in our next episode we will learn about blocking with our shield we'll be just setting up the shield animation montage right now the actual blocking logic will come after we have set up our first enemy AI. Thank you guys for watching uh, my video and if you enjoyed and learned something from it, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because that really helps me a lot. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next one.